Mina, come on the Jesus freaking gamer here. Coming at you tonight with Deuteronomy chapter 11. We're going to do two verses. The first one's going to be verse 26. Behold, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. Then go back to verse 13. And it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today, to love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, Go on to verse 14, then I will give you the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine, and your oil. Verse 15, and I will send grass in your fields for your livestock that you may eat and be filled. Verse 16, take heed to yourselves, lest your heart be deceived, and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. Verse 17, lest the Lord's anger be aroused against you. And he shut up the heavens so that there be no rain, and the land yield no produce, and you perish quickly from the good land which the Lord is giving you. So we have blessing and we have curse. We have abundance in blessing. We have perishing in cursing. Which one would you rather have? Gee, I wonder. It's pretty obvious which one we prefer. And it Kind of just makes sense, like you follow the Lord, you get blessed, you don't follow Him, you get cursed. But something I've noticed in my own life, in my faith, in my mind, and in that of other believers as well, it seems to be a lot easier to believe in the curse than in the blessing. Maybe that has to do with our sin nature, maybe that just has to do with our natural pessimism, I've heard, and it does tend to be true that if something negative happens, you're going to remember that a lot more than the, the 10 positive things that happen in its place. The negative just seems to be overwhelming. The dark and the gloomy seems to take almost precedence over the bright, the shiny, and the wonderful. And that just seems to be the world we live in. I would like to submit for your appraisal and for your thoughtful consideration and prayerful consideration of those of you that believe that good is just as true as bad, that blessing is just as true as cursing. Now, I know that you, your first reaction is probably, duh, of course that's how it works. That's pretty obvious that there's good and there's bad stuff, but think about that. There really is good. There really is positive. There are some wonderful things in this world. And it's not just that God's waiting with a hammer over your head ready to bash you. He is, over, he is standing over your head with a bucket full of living water to pour on you, to bless you, to quench your thirst, to wash you clean, to cool you off in the hot, arid desert that this world can be. He has so much good waiting for you, for us, if we will believe and obey. There's not just negative in this world, there's positive too. And sometimes the darkness and the negativity just seems to drown out all the things that are good and positive. And it's so much easier to believe that something bad's going to happen than something good, than something good is going to happen. And I want to submit to you that we can trust our God and believe in Him to bring good and blessing to us. And we're not just living from disaster to disaster, there really is good that the Lord brings to us. Thank you very much for watching this. I love y'all. God bless.